Hi everyone, it's Kelly and I'm here to share an MB Treasurista Creative Inspiration layout with you. I'll have all the information below. If you click on, um, I think it's share or other information, I'll have all the information below. And what we have for you is a post, a Creative Inspiration post, and I'll insert that so you can see and then we were supposed to take this um, inspiration and create something of our own with that and we were to use three items from MB Treasurista so I'm going to show you what I created okay so what I have for you is a layout and it looks like this. I started off with a 12 by 12 pink base and I think, let me see, on the back it's just plain white but it was just a pink sort of a pinky salmon color and I didn't want it quite that bright so I painted over it with white craft acrylic paint. After that I stamped a few of the MB Treasuries to stencils I'll show you one of them is still kinda messy but I used the um, script and it looks like this I have to clean it yet I used that down in the corner here and in the upper corner I used the reverse um, chicken wire stencil so after I did that, I found some acrylic layovers in my stash, and those I added, if you notice, this down here, this little um, flower swag is an acrylic layover. The numbers are an acrylic layover, and the diamonds here are just an acrylic layover. I added papers from two different collections. I wanted to pull black but I did actually find a green that sort of went with it I'll show you up close here the green right here and right here came from a stack called lost and found and it's the rosy and those papers can be found uh, right here and then where was the other one it's it's in here but that is by um, my mind's eye and then the next one that I found was the um, chevron right here for that banner and that came from an American crafts paper pad that looks like this and this I think is reminds me of the Amy Tangerine so after I did that I took a piece of black cardstock and I used two different craft punches over here I used a scallop punch on this side and then on this side I used a shell flourish punch um, I wanted it to look different on both sides so I did that and then I added some of this bling underneath here where the paper did not punch so it was just a black strip and then I adhered the glitter over top of that and you'll see that I kept it mostly black and white and then in the color I added my daughter's outfit this was from her birthday and she had on really bright pink and yellow and green color and I wanted to add those colors in so I did that using Lindy's and I did the color up here I don't know if you can see it but I just splattered it and then down here I added splatters of the color so it it um, really came together very well and the other products that I used from MB Treasurista were the scallop lace that you see around the photo it's the black scallop Venice lace and it comes actually like this but I, I thought it would look really pretty and I just adhered that around the entire photo so I then added another scallop lace 
Um, it's actually a zigzag lace in white from MB Treasury Stat. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I adhered that underneath the entire strip of paper, so it's underneath um, the back here. Then I added some green leaves from my stash. This is a black rosette flower from the uh, chenille rosette trim from MB Treasury Stuff. And then this is a prima flower here. This is a Kane Company acrylic flower with beads. This is a white flower from Recollections and I painted the center black as well as the one on top and then I added a daisy up at the top instead. So here's what this looks like down here and then here is what it looks like up here. So then down here I just added Furby in thickers and love, Furby love, because she was excited about getting her Furby. So that's what I created. I hope that you guys like it and if you would like to participate I'll have all the information over on my blog. You can check it out and I will have the link or the picture upload for the creative inspiration pin if you want to check that out and I'll have all this information on my blog as well as my Facebook so I hope that you want to participate and we'll see what you guys create and that's it so we'll talk to you soon and have a great day bye